Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and here we have the Gigabyte S1081. This is the updated version to a tablet PC that we have already reviewed, uh, the S1080. The only major difference is that this one is running Cedar Trail. It's running a Intel Atom uh, N2800 running at 1.86 gigahertz. So here we have our quick start guide. Um, you can see that uh, in this photo there is a docking station and that's also up for unboxing in just a second. All right, so taking this out of the box, we have the little user manual here. Uh, there's even a piece of cardboard with some nice little directions here. Mm, very nice. So here we have the tablet itself. Uh, you'll notice a couple of things, like you can't see the lights on the ceiling here, and that is because uh, the S1080 and 81 chip standard with this anti-glare foil. I love, love, love it. You don't see many tablets uh, taking the non-glossy into effect. I'm going to give you a walk around this in just another minute. Here we have a driver's and update on a CD-ROM. Although, yeah, I think you do it on a USB, but no, whatever. So, we're going to take this out. We have a lovely case. So this is a keyboard case that attaches via USB, which is really nice to see. I would prefer to see Bluetooth guys, but that's alright, probably creeps up with the cost. But you can see here this is a chiclet style keyboard that has a um, little plasticky thing over it and this is to prevent um, indentations and scratching of the keys on the display because the tablet will clip in right here. So you see there's got, got those four little prongs there on the side. So there we go. And it just closes up like that. So it's got this um, little at the back, clips with buttons, so you can change the angles to check it out, but we will get into a full review of this case momentarily. Let's continue on with the unboxing. Got a bit distracted there. Uh, here we have a user manual in many different languages. And over here, we've got a PSU of the device, and that's actually quite nice because it's, it's quite small. Hmm. I Definitely an improvement on the S1081 to remember how to brick. All right, so now that we've taken this out of the box, let's get rid of a few of these things here. Push them off to the side. And let's get into the unboxing of the dock. Now this is an interesting accessory feature because it kind of, it turned your tablet into a kind of mini desktop. So you can see it's got a CD-ROM here. Well, I guess that makes it okay that they gave us the BIOS drivers on a CD-ROM because it does come with the CD-ROM here. This is where it docks into. This is where the spare battery will go. And here at the back you have everything um, yeah, you've got everything kind of uh, that's on the go here. There's a nice little sticker here because I guess they only have one dock, uh, the S1080. Yeah, uh, the S1080 won't support HDMI because it's running on Pine Trail, I guess, is what they're trying to say. Okay, so we've got three USBs in the back, all 2.0, HDMI, there's your Ethernet, audio jacks, and PSU. There's a VGA port right over here, and uh, when we test the dock, they've put four speakers. So we've got one, two, three, four. So this is supposed to have quite good audio now. Pretty excited to test that. And let's take a look. If there's anything else in the box, we probably have a PSU somewhere. There we go. There's the bulky PSU that I was remembering. 
right? But this, since this is a desktop, you just plug this in and it's ready to go. So that's been a quick unboxing of the dock and the tablet, the S1081 tablet. Now I'll give you a quick walk around of the tablet before I sign off. Uh, we will have a separate review video in case you're looking after that. So here on the side, nothing's really changed structurally between the S1080 um, and the S1081. So we have a power volume rocker, full-size SD card. Um, this is quite interesting because this is a mouse right and left. And then on this side we have the pointer. So this is actually touch sensitive, so you can just move your thumb back and forth. And then here on the right or left, you can use these as right and left mouse pointers because this is also running Windows 7 Home Premium. So if we keep going, we have another USB 2.0, two audio jacks, and a full-size Ethernet port on the tablet itself. Uh, we have the docking connectors here on the bottom. Full-size VGA, PSU, HDMI, SIM card, and USB 3, which is interesting to note. And above we have more speakers. So the screen resolution of this tablet is uh, 1024 by 600. On the back we have a plethora of stickers, so that's quite uh, like a race car. But anyways, so we have all these stickers. I would prefer to see that not, but uh, well, whatever. So we will have another review of the S10 1081. I just thought I would take these out of the box for you in case you're keen to see what you're going to get if you can pick it up. I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News, taking a look at Windows 7 tablets.